So now we're going to set the machine for TIG welding. So we've got the TIG welding option on the menu, which we select. And the first thing that we do, it's guiding us where to connect the uh, torch. So I've already got the TIG torch connected. As you see, it uses the same connection point as the MIG torch. But the important thing to note is it's guiding us to move the work return lead. So I need to disconnect that from there and reinsert it into the positive connection on the front of the machine lock it and then also it's advising we need to use, move the link tab so stop the side panel and then we can swap the polarity over here uh, by moving this link round so we just swing it round to the alternative position and put the uh, locking screw in again make sure both of those are tight or else you may get some arcing on there so you always just make sure those are tight so that's reverse the polarity so the we've got the correct output for the uh, um, euro connector on the front of the machine for TIG welding and likewise if we we're going back to MIG welding we would uh, release it and reverse it back over the other side we can now move on to the uh, the next stage so what tungsten diameter am I going to use? 1.6 or 2.4? Uh, I'm going to use 2.4 tungsten. 2T or 4T, as we explained before, latching a momentary trigger. And then uh, what weld thickness? Because I've gone with the 2.4 tungsten, it won't allow me to go particularly thin. If I wanted to go to a thinner material, then I should have selected the 1.6 tungsten. And you can see there, I can scroll up to seven millimeters. So let's select two millimeters just as a, um, and then we're into the welding screen. So we've got the parameters we've selected down the left-hand side here. Uh, the machine is pre-selected for us a, a welding amperage uh, there. And I've got the option of a downslope time, uh, which I can adjust uh, manually uh, for downslope, so when I, and also I've got adjustment for pulse gas here uh, for my end of weld uh, protection. As with the other screens, you've got a, a green zone uh, that is the recommended working amperage. If I go outside that, then I get this this the color change saying well. It's not really a recommended parameter for welding two millimeter uh, thick uh, material. And likewise, if I wind back there, uh, I can bring it back into the green zone. So it's now ready for TIG welding. Uh, if I wanted to change the thickness, the easiest way to do that is a long press on the uh, knob here, jump back to the thickness range. Let's go up to five millimeters. And you can see straight away the machine has reset the uh, operating amperage and jumped up to 120 amps uh, for the welding power. And that's it.